right behind me, we have a sea of 2024 street glides. Hey, I'm on the street glide. And it's so easy to maneuver, so easy to ride. I go black and then the Alpine green. Oh, that's right. You know what? I'm happy you said that. Pull our tray, pop your phone in there. Davidson, and as you can see, right behind me, we have a sea of 2024 street glides in all colors, in all flavors, and well, one size. But there's a ton of stuff, and I think we're gonna be titling this video today The Forgotten Bagger, because it seems like anywhere you look and anywhere you go, all you see is roll glides. And I think people are forgetting how good the new street glide is, how good it looks, how sleek it looks. There's something about this bike that I personally love, which is the fairing and how it looks, especially at nighttime. If you ever drive or ride in front of one and just see a street light coming up behind you, and you see those eyelids lit up, you see the headlight lit up. It's just, it's, it's something, something really, really, really nice. Now, what we're gonna do for you today is that we're gonna be taking one of these out for a ride as well, and kind of go over what makes the street light so good. Now, if you're in the local area, or even if you're not, if you want to give them a call or just pass by, trust me, they're going to be taking care of you. Just ask. What's up, guys? Sergio from Bergen County, Harley Davidson. As you can see, there's a sea full of street glides, and we can't forget about them. So I just want to let you know, if you don't know, we do have a flex finance program as well. So you don't have to do your traditional financing, which is pretty cool. If you have any questions, you got to definitely call in and find out. If you don't know what flex is, it's pretty much a hybrid lease. So you can take the bike, you pretty much own it, so it's not like a lease, but at the end of the term, which is 36 months or 48 months, you can walk away and get on something new, or you could actually buy out the bike. Now, if I was coming in today and I was gonna pick a street glide, and which color would I be picking? I think it's gonna be this black one right here because I don't know what it is about an all black street glide. It's just so, so, so nice. It just, it looks perfect in its own form. But there are some other beautiful colors. So we got that white sand pearl over there, which looks really, really nice. That whiskey fire looks good. Um, but not for nothing, one of my favorite colors this year is that alpine green over here. It looks, it looks really nice, and especially with the chrome next to each other. It's like it's like one of those colors that maybe next year or two years from now people are gonna be like, wow, like you know that alpine green it was really nice. So th this will probably be like my be my my second my second pick. I'll go with the black, and then I go with the alpine green. Um, the first blue, I'm not much of a blue guy, guys. So it's like, eh, it's nice, but is it for me? No. Uh, the silver right here is really nice as well. It's really clean. Um, Shark skin blue is really nice as well. We got the white sand pearl, and then are we missing a color? I think that's it. Nope. Yeah, billiard gray, which oh. is the base color for any bike you get this year. The billiard gray actually looks really nice and really clean. But I go with black, and then the alpine green. All right, now if if you had to pick a color, shark skin blue on black. Let's go. Oh, that's right. You know what? I'm happy you said that because. I forgot to mention that if you are gonna get a street glide or a road glide, um, you do have the option of having it either all blacked out, like the shark skin blue is right here, or with the chrome components like the billiard gray is right there. So two options at that as well. But you say you're gonna, uh, that will be your first pick? Yeah, definitely. Why? It's a different color, I like it. Nice. And I'm actually happy they didn't put it on chrome. Yeah, it, it looks it one. looks nicer yeah. with the black, because everything else pretty much comes in chrome, right? Well, the burst blue comes in black, yeah. or the alpine green. You comes don't in. get it on black, chrome only. Only chrome, yeah. So you saw all the bikes that are upstairs, but downstairs we have a couple CVOs. You got your legendary orange, and we have a copperhead as well. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna be taking this street glide out right now for a nice ride. Go over everything that makes this bike so good. Got this whiskey fire, really nice. Actually, let's start with one of my favorite things, the tray, pull out tray, pop your phone in there, close it in. Now you don't gotta worry about your stuff falling in your pockets, anything flopping around, and we're good. 
Oh, the streak glide, the streak glide. I was actually riding this bike out in um, Milwaukee with a stage two, and that thing ripped. Also rode another one that had the uh, 135 in it. That was an absolute beast. Scary fast. It's just so much you could do with these bikes already, man. But let's go over a few things that I really love about this bike. We spoke about the tray right there. That tray is like plus. There's a street light before had no space anywhere here in the front for you to plug in your stuff like the road glide does. Now it does. Um, I love the fact that the screen is literally right here, right in front of you. You got the whole infotainment system, 12 inch screen right here. Everything is super visible right in front of you. Um, you don't have that feeling like you have on a road glide where everything just feels so, so far away. Um, this is literally right in front of you. The stock bar setup, I need to be honest, and that, that's like one of the first things that I always swap out on a bike, but on here, it just feels so organic. It feels really comfortable, and it's just, I don't know, the street light, you could just kind of like dip around, throw around, and it's so easy to maneuver, so easy to ride. It just feels light. It feels lighter, way lighter than what it actually is. I know these bikes at times, especially for certain people that, you know, never been on a bagger or a bike this size, it, it could look intimidating because of its size. But this one here in particular, it's just so easy to maneuver. It's just nice. This one has a uh, Cobra exhaust on it. So you guys can get a nice little sound. Not bad. Not bad at all. is also a demo at Bergen Harley Davidson so if you guys are interested in getting your street glide you come down and take this one out right here now this bike comes with the Milwaukee 8 117 brand new for these bottles is that the uh, top of the motors are water cooled so they're gonna be running a lot cooler this engine here in particular the 117 on this model just feels so smooth The engine doesn't feel clunky. Um, it just, it's just really, it just has really smooth power delivery. Ton of torque, ton of horsepower. It did a really, really, really good job with everything. Audio has also been improved on these models uh, compared to the Apple model. Um, I know the Apple model, I think it had like a 100 watt amp. I know these have like a 200 watt amp. Um, so a significant increase new design wheels in the front those look really nice so there are a few things so there are a few things that are different on this bike now when it comes to the controls so they have moved the volume controls from the left side to the right side right now so on the right side we're going to have your uh, cutoff switch power and on button your dual turn signal light right here your music buttons right here so your volume you want to skip your right turn signals in right there and your mode button. So another cool thing, one of the most important things, one of my favorite things on here needs to be that this bike has mode. So you're gonna have rain mode, road mode, and then sport mode, which is a plus. And trust me, each and every mode is different. You definitely feel the difference in each and every one of them. Um, you're also gonna have your Bluetooth button right here. On the left side, you're gonna have your cruise control, which is gonna be here on top your trip button for you to navigate trash control button here um, this these arrows will help you navigate throughout the screen right here if you want to go left right back whatever it is 
your back button, your left turn signal, and last but not least, your horn. So you do have access to kind of navigate the screen using the buttons, or if you just want to touch everything, it is all touch screen there as well. Six gallon gas tank on here, and a six speed transmission. The tank was redesigned. Obviously the whole bike was redesigned, but if you see all these lines right here heading down on the tank, that looks really nice. As well as the underneath the belly of the tank, which was kind of carved out, giving the tank more of a sleeker look. You're gonna see those lines flowing out from the front of the fairing to the tank, to the side panels, and then to the chop bags in the back as well. I kind of didn't want this to be like a, a, a review video because I've done one or two review videos on the street line already but i wanted to go over those parts that kind of stand out to you guys the most hey i'm on the street glide last but not least we have the bags in the back that uh have a little bit more space this year now with the new design chop more of a that bubbly fill on the side um da -da 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 -da. what else what else what else you have access to your GPS right here in your screen as well. So everything's literally right in front of you. So you can navigate that. Um, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I think that deserves its own video. Just everything that's in the screen. Yeah, man. Overall, riding the street glide is super easy. It feels really light. The bike looks great. I just don't know why people... I mean, I do know why people are picking the road glide over the street glide. Just honestly, it's just... The road glider has just become so popular because of the king of the baggers race and and everything else but prior to that the street glide was the number one seller um but the the king of the baggers race have really helped out the road glide sales and people are just going the performance route more with the road glide because of that to be honest but there's so much here that is untouched and uncovered and i think we could be doing a lot of more things with the street glide that people are not doing yet i think some of us just need to get a little bit more creative put some cool parts on this bike i think that'll be his own thing later on best performance street glide versus best performance road glide because even though the bikes are so similar they are so different wind protection on this bike is pretty good um but if you do want to get a taller windshield i highly suggest that because that'll definitely increase the uh the coverage all right and we are back at bergen county harley davidson guys if you are in the local area like i said stop by here if you're looking for the street glide you you might want to come in here uh speak to sergio speak to any of the other salesmen um they'll definitely hook you guys up hopefully i can get my butt on another bagger soon for the channel for you guys i would honestly I would go for a street glide right now just just because the fact that so many people are buying road glides is like no you know what i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna get a street glide and i'm gonna build it out like if i was in the market right now for one that's what i would honestly do but that's me i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and i will be catching you guys on the next one if you have any further questions about the street glider, about any of the motorcycles here at Bergen County Harley Davidson, stop by, give them a call, let them know I sent you. Come throw a leg over one of these street glides, man. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.